Hello, science people. Today, I want to talk to you about cloning, how we do it, and what does it mean? Let's talk about how cloning works, and let's use humans as an example. As far as I know, we've never cloned a human, but maybe we have, and we don't know about it. So here's how it works. Let's say that I want to clone myself. I think that my DNA is fantastic, and I don't want anyone else's DNA muddying up my genetics. So here's what would happen. So I can't use my sperm because my sperm has only 23 chromosomes. It has half my genetics. Because humans reproduce sexually, when we reproduce, half the genetics comes from mom and half the genetics comes from dad. But I want a clone of me. I want 100% fabulous me. And so I need all of my DNA, all of my chromosomes. So what I would do is I would take one of my cells any somatic cell, any body cell that has all of my 46 chromosomes. So I would take one of those cells and I would remove the chromosomes, remove the DNA from the nucleus. So now I have all of my DNA ready to go. Well, now I need an egg. So I still need an egg if I'm going to clone me. And so I need to get a donor. So I need a female human to donate an egg. Well, that egg has all of her DNA in there. I don't want her DNA, I want 100% me. And so what I'll do is remove the DNA from her egg, so now it's a blank egg, it's an empty egg. And then I'll inject all of my DNA into that egg, all 46 chromosomes. And so now we have an egg that appears to be fertilized with 100% my genetics. So then we give the egg a little shock, let it think that it was fertilized, and now that egg begins to divide. Well, I gotta put it somewhere. Well, I don't have anywhere I could put it, so again, I need a female human to donate her uterus. We need to plant it in a human uterus. So I take this fertilized egg, also called a zygote, I take this fertilized egg, and then I'll insert it in a woman's uterus. Once in the uterus, it'll now start to grow into a fetus. Now it has nothing to do with the genetics of the woman who is carrying it. We are just using her uterus to carry this baby. And so the baby will then be developing with 100% my DNA. And after nine months or so, she will give birth to a clone of me. Now, it's not gonna come out looking exactly like I did as a baby because there are some genes that get randomly turned on and off. So there'll be slight differences, but for the most part, it will be a baby me. Now, of course, it's not gonna have my memories, and it's not gonna have my personality. My memories, my personality, who I am at this point, took 38 years to get here, 38 years of awesomeness to make me. We can't replicate that. And so if you clone somebody, you're not really cloning them, you're just getting a new baby. It would be a baby, a baby human, a baby human male that has 100% of my genetics, but it's just a baby. And now that baby will then live all of its own experiences, all of the events, all of the way that that child is raised will shape its personality. So it's not me, it's just a baby, but it's a baby made with 100% my genetics and no one else's. And so then this baby will grow up and then eventually it'll start to look more and more like me, but we will never be the same age because if I made that clone now, there's a 38 year difference. So in, when you see movies where they have a clone of somebody and they're the same age, the only way that would happen is if you clone them when they're babies. A clone is just making a baby with identical DNA. You cannot clone an adult. If I wanted to clone me at 38 and have another 38-year-old me, how would I do that? I would have to grow a 38-year-old me. That takes 38 years. And so that's not really possible. But cloning humans is possible. It's basically just making a baby with one person's DNA. Well, I used me as an example. But let's talk about if I want to clone a woman. Now, women are lucky. They don't need men. 
We are useless, don't need us at all. See, I still needed a woman's egg and I needed a woman's uterus in order to clone me. But women have their own eggs and they have their own uteruses. So how would it work with a woman? Well, let's say there's a woman that wants to clone herself. Well, all she has to do is take one of her own eggs, pull her DNA out of it. She has to remove her DNA because her egg only has 23 chromosomes, only half her DNA. So that has to be removed. So now she has a blank egg. Sure, it was hers, but it's a blank egg. Then she has to take the DNA from one of her cells, her body cells, all 46 of her chromosomes, put those into the egg. We shock the egg, let it think that it was fertilized. It now starts to divide, and then she can put it in her own uterus where she will be pregnant with a clone of herself. And then so in nine months or so, she will give birth to a clone of herself. Again, it's not gonna be her. It won't have her same memories, of course. It won't have her exact same personality. It won't have those things because it's, it's a human that will have all of its own characteristics. Well, I hope you found this interesting. It is fascinating talking about cloning humans. Right now, currently, we have passed laws to where it's illegal to clone a human because well, first of all, we have too many humans. But then there's lots of questions that come about when we talk about cloning humans. But maybe in the future, it might be something that we do. So I hope you enjoyed learning about how to clone a human, and I'll see you next time.